Hey gang, welcome back uh, to some farming sim. We are back on the old stream farm. Uh, Gary's given me a call. He said the uh, construction has been completed on the retaining walls. So it's all finished and good to go. Um, and he had to scoot away, but he hadn't finished bailing up the rest of uh, our, one of our fields. So we need to go check that out to see what's going on there. I just need to turn my volume down a touch. It's a bit loud in my ear. Uh, hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. But anyway, yeah, so we're just driving back into town. And we'll check out what's going on. Uh, also, uh, now I asked Gary to go and sort this out for me. I had it, uh, I had it in the books for a while. And you'll see when we get home, but it's very exciting when we pull up. Uh, so we want to get there pretty quick. Yeah, floor it! <laughs> a little surprise for us all. He's waiting for us at the house. Uh, also, Gary also came and picked up the Massey Ferguson. I think I told you guys that last time out. But the little Massey that we bought over on uh, Silver Run is here. And the new number plate has been put on it. So we've actually put a Silver Run number plate on it. Which is kind of in memory of buying our first tractor in Silver Run. Okay, I probably won't put one on the Kubota if we ever buy that one off that map. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, we're here to finish the baling. Then we're actually going to buy our bale wrapper. We could lease it, but I think we need to buy one anyway. Uh, and what I'd actually really love to do is I'd love to buy one of those auto-loader trailers. Now, Gary said, uh, Gary in all of his infinite wisdom accidentally set one of the bales to 125 uh, centimeters. I think it's in centimeters. I forget. But, uh, so we've got to put, we'll put one of those ones aside before we wrap it. We might just keep it as a grass bale for whenever we get, um, some animals. Alright. Bit of a dodgy turn in there, ham. Dodgy ham. Alright. Oh, we're back home. Let's see what's going on back here at the yard. Hmm. Pulling in. All right, uh, now I asked Gary to set this up out the back here, so drum roll please. I forgot to put the drum roll overlay in last time out too, so that was a bit silly of me. Hey, it's a doggo house. Hooray. That's right, we've got ourselves our very own Hank. Here, boy. Oh, look, the new retaining walls in, and they put the hedge in that I asked them to do. Oh, that's fantastic. Ah, oh, that hedge looks really good. Happy with that. Oh, that's super good. Uh, where is that? Where is Hank? Real life Hank is, uh, I bought him a new toy bone today, and man, he's chewing the guts out of that. Uh, here Hank, where are you buddy? Where's that dog? Where is that dog? Mm, I don't know. Maybe he'll make an appearance at some point. But yeah, we, we quickly want to do this job here, because I've got to get back to Silver Run today, so we can continue on with our rocks and our tree cutting. Uh, yeah. And uh, I know the last thing we want is more mowing. I did want to find where this bloody dog is. Uh, and just quickly, we'll have a look up in here as well. Ah, good. It's all been refixed up, so they've re-retained it. Oh, they missed a boulder there. I wonder if I can get them back to fix that. Oh, it's a bit tight through here. Did Gary tell them that I wanted, a, like, a good width through here? Ah, well. At least that's all been refixed. I don't know where that dog is. He'll be off playing somewhere. Uh, oh, all this has been retained. Fantastic. Okay, well, hopefully we see uh, Hanky before we go. Yeah, anyway. Maybe we can take him with us to Silver Run. Right, so let's head over and see what Gary's been up to. Alright, so here we are. Oh, we don't have much to do in the terms of bailing. And he's, I can see all the bales on that field over there. He's bailed them up. Okay, so it's just literally... Finishing off this. I'll make sure that the settings are all right. Okay, he's got them back to 150s and we've got automatic drop on. Okay, that's all good. Then we can uh, we can just go like this, lower it, and away we go. Oh, this is the first time we've used the Massey Ferguson for a proper job. Jeez, I tell you what, it's handling this with absolute ease. 
apologies if you can hear my steering wheel. It's force feedback setting is super tight. Oh, missed the little patch. I'm not really worried too much. This is really the last time we're mowing for a while, I think. Uh, and it's just to get an extra in, in influx of cash. So what I might do is, we're, I'm not going to have to worry about a trailer anytime soon because uh, when we when we wrap these, I'm actually I'm actually just going to let them sit out here on these fields fermenting. Uh, so they can turn into silage. All right, we're almost at the 100 mark. Uh, and then what we're going to do is once we've wrapped these today, we're going to head straight back to uh, Silver Run and continue our work that we're doing there. All right, you're not on auto drop. All right, no rolling bales into the river this time, please. Don't you go into the river. All right, this is an absolute delight. Uh, I don't think this will take us long at all. Only probably two more bales left in it, really. If that, maybe only one and a half. And then we'll head up and uh, get that bale wrapper. Uh, I could lease it again. We could wait, hold out and lease it and wait for a sale. Uh, I was hoping that something would come up. Actually, it's not a bad idea to check the sales. When we left, it was the beginning of November. It's halfway through November now. Yeah, we're only going to get one more bale out of this. And then uh, we're going to have... At least we'll have a bit of leftover residue in the chamber. <laughs> it's not a gun. Don't call it a chamber in the uh, in the tank. Yeah, like that'll do. And I'm not going to worry about the one percenters today because we've just got more important things to do. Uh, Rachel's still on holidays. So it's no good. Uh, that's why she couldn't finish off the job. And Gary really had to duck away. So I had to sort of burn back... Uh, from uh, Silver, Silver Run to get this done. Silver Run to get it done. But that's what we do. That's what you do when you own a farm. Okay? You can't rely on others to do your work all the time. People that you hire. Unreliable staff. No, it's fine. Okay. Let's get out of here. That'll do it. 56% in the tank for next uh, next trip out that we do, that we work on. This is, oh my gosh, this goes way better than the uh, Kubota, this Massey. I think this has a little bit more horsepower in it, for memory. We'll cut into our yard here. Yeah, I think our, I think our new Massey, it's a medium tractor as well, so is the Kubota. But I think this is a bit, uh, it's a bit chunkier tractor in terms of horsepower and uh, kilowatt. Alright, we're going to have to back this in, aren't we? Oh, oh, Gary hasn't even washed the, um... Oh, okay, okay. Righto, Gaz. Righto. Oh, I'm going to have to straighten up here. That's it. Go with it. Go harder with it. No. Very tentative, these little, little implements. Oh, uh, you know what? No, no. I, I was going to just leave it there like that, but no, that's no good. There we go. That'll do it. That'll do it. Beautiful. Much easier if I just hit the Q button, isn't it? <laughs> I like the immersion, but at the same time, I like the convenience. All right. Uh, I'm just going to park here for a sec. Because I don't know how long these have been sitting here like that. And uh, I'm going to give them a quick clean. All right, we want to make sure we keep the maintenance up to them. And they're going to have to probably be put under covers at some point. I might get... I'll just tell Gary to do that when he gets back eventually. Oh, this is filthy. Holy snapping duckfish. That is... Had a lot of grass and residue on it. We're going to have to wash that down our uh, drains. 
Wash all that grass down into the drain that we've got there. That's why we built this drain system for washing. All right, wash it all in. Okay, clean all that. Beautiful. Um, the chickens will need feed at some point too soon. I wonder what they're down to. Oh, look. Here it is. Our messy. It's arrived. Oh, God. You gotta love it. Oh, this thing's actually pretty little tractor. The poor Fent here is like, oh, I'm being replaced. Mm, potentially you are. We don't need two of you. Put it that way. Fight. You're gonna have to fight for your position. Alright, uh, do we want that or do we want to hit? Oh, we're gonna have to go up anyway, regardless if we lease or we buy. Right, trailers, let's go bale wrapping technology. Is that what it's under? Yeah, bale wrappers. 22,000. Okay, we can buy it. Uh, 54, 30 for that. Now, these wouldn't be bad to have in the future. And we couldn't get that one, but I'm not going to get that. I'm going to spend the money and get this. Okay, I've been spend spend happy lately. Uh, foil cover. Oh, oh now. Oh, we can get different color foil. Oh, well, we'll go blue. Hey, that's a bit fun. Or oh, green. Oh, man, black's cool. Yeah, black is cool, isn't it? They won't really stand out much, so go blue. Okay. <laughs> is that all you can do? Uh, brands? Oh, it changes the brand of your... Uh, okay, we'll just leave it at that. And wrap design. What is it? With Baylor on end turner. No, we don't want that. Yeah, we'll just go standard, thanks. Calm down. I thank you very much by that. Right, look at us being spend happy lately. Let's go up and pick that up. I tell you what, uh, hasn't time changed in 45 episodes since the start when we just rolled in in our little pickup. Uh, and now we're in this beautiful Massey Ferguson. We've got another beautiful little Massey Ferguson. And we don't particularly own a Kubota yet um, that we still have to we paid for it with collectible money on the other map so it belongs on the other map if we buy it out though with actual earned money then it's ours to keep over here but and I say but um, with the highest degree because I'm in talks with my uncle at the moment. He's got a massive big project to uh, to take care of and look after. Why are we looking down at the steering wheel? So there is potential that I am going to probably buy him out of his uh, of his land at Silver Run because he's going to have to move. Uh, I don't know if he said it was in Elms Creek that he has to move to or elsewhere. He's our new ba he's our new bell wrapper. Cool. So there's potential talk that he's uh, got a massive big lucrative deal to go and do stuff there. And I mean, let's be honest, when we got to his uh, farm in Silverum, it's not exactly like he had... Uh, he was killing it, basically. Uh, Alright, so this is our new bale wrapper. How good's that? We own that. Okay, so what we'll do is we might go this way. Put our beacons on. I like that they're going to be blue. It changes it up a little bit, doesn't it? Always make sure you look where you're going. Oh. Yeah, I've still got a bit of... Uh, Shader cache to load in on this map, I think, after the last update. Not to worry. It'll sort itself out. I'm not not going to stress about those things anymore. I was worried at first because I thought there was something completely wrong with my system. And no. It wasn't. Okay, so... Uh, we'll wrap this. Then we're going to get in the pickup and we're going to burn home. Uh, burn to Silver Run. Yeah, I'll keep you guys up to date, though, with uh, what we're thinking in terms of uh, buying out my uncle. 
Uh, he's got to come to me with a price of what it's going to cost to buy him out anyway. Um, yeah. I mean, we may... By building the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, what is it, the furnace? Iron furnace, uh, field that we've got, I mean, uh, factory that we've got going on up there. It probably will go a long way to, uh, helping us secure the buying his land and giving us a foothold in that town. Uh, but it means we're going to have to manage this farm and the, uh, the farm in, uh, Silver Run as well. Right, let's watch the first one be wrapped. Brand new wrap for us, ladies and gents. Get excited at it. Brand new tractor, brand new wrap. Turn that off. Uh, do we want to have auto unload too, please? Yes, please, Zed. Right, that's pretty Gucci, isn't it? Would you like to get a picture of that? I wouldn't mind getting a picture of it, I'll be honest. You can do things like this, like hit pause. This is how you bring up your photo shot, right? If anyone doesn't know, this is how you do. If you get the uh, get the mod called Photoshop, or Photo Pro Shot it's called, right? And you can change the lighting, move around, right? Watch this. And get in nice and close. Ooh, you can get some good shots. Press E, you can get a bit lower. That looks good. And then you hit enter. Hey, photo taken. What do you think of that? Alright, uh, and then if you just hit the unpause button again, uh, it's pause button, top top of your keyboard you'll see pause or break, and it just continues on. How good's that? And you got yourself a lovely screenshot. What a great mod. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on with all this bow wrapping, and I'll see you guys at the end. Alright, last one. Now there is that one up there, but I can already tell that's a much smaller one, so that must be the 125. Uh, we'll just keep that as a grass one itself, right? So pack that away. I'll just have a look here. Okay, make sure that is the smaller one. It definitely looks a lot smaller. It's a shame because this, this one right here, uh, what's that uh, bale? Three and a half thousand litres. Uh, five and a half thousand liters. So this bale here, plus whatever's inside the actual uh, bale baler, would have produced another large bale. So that uh, there's eight here currently. We've got wrapped. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and there's eight on the other field. So that's another sixteen. We could have had seventeen bales, but that's okay. We'll have another sixteen bales for the sales. Uh, to bring in some good money in this winter period. Man, we are going to make some good money in this winter. That is for sure. I kind of want it really sharpen up now. And get it over here. Uh, yeah, look. That'll do it. Okay, just tuck it in there and it'll be fine. Okay, it's not, it's not ideal having everything out of here. It's something that we're going to have to change, I think, with this farm. But we'll get there, I think. Either way, we've got a new bow wrapper, so that's good. Uh, and the tractor will... I'll put the tractor back up the top up here. I don't think it... Oh, we could put it around the front here. Okay. Because that's it. We're heading back to Silver Run now. If I could just find where Hank is. Story of my life. 
Okay. Look at our little shed full of tractors. Oh, you wouldn't read about it. Very cool indeed. Fill out the logbook. Yep, done. Oh, we got some letters here. We better put that away. Okay, put the lettuce in here with the other lettuces. Let us put it away. Okay, and then uh, how's the honey? Honey's good. Okay, water, plenty. Chicken feed. 2,900. We'll last a little bit longer. Okay, and everything else is good. We're going to have to weed that field. Oh, uh, yeah, we are. And that we need to put another layer of fertilizer on here. Okay, I better tell Gaza. We can come back and do that, uh, I think, at some point. Uh, let's get in the pickup and go, 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 daddy-o. Oh. I don't... Oh, is the dog here somewhere? It's the dog inside. The door's left open. That would have been me. Where is that dog? <whistles> Hank! <whistles> Where is he? Hmm, I don't know. He'd be off on some grand doggy adventure, I think, exploring all these new lands that he's got. <sighs> Who would know where that dog is? <laughs> right? I have gave a whistle. Give a little whistle. I'm not a great whistler. Is there any way I can recall him back to here? Oh, he's coming, Nate. He's at his food. Better fill it up before I go. I don't know where Gary's gone. Hmm, anyway. His name's not Garris. I think we better change that. Maybe that's how he came from the pet store. Uh, where's our, uh... Do we have other animals? That's our animals. Where's our doggo? Where's our doggo? That's that stuff. Surely he would be under animals. I don't know. Fix that later. I'll tell Gary to get his name. Oh, there he is. Hello, buddy. Oh, he's come to eat his food. He was off down the road, probably. Ah, uh, he's a good boy. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, Hank, make sure... <laughs> Hank, you're in charge of Gary, okay? Alright, he's, uh, he's gonna... Good boy, you look after the house. You wanna go inside, or are you just gonna sit down there? I do... I, no, I'm gonna go before you do weird things. Alright, Hank, I'll be back soon, buddy. Hank hates when I leave. Alright, uh, do a U-banger. And I will see you guys back at Silver Run. Uh, I think that's unpacked, ready to go. There we go. We're back. We're back on Silver Run. I'm just going to pick up the bucket here. Now, I said I was going to make a pile just over here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. This is going to be very interesting with this. Uh, also, we probably need to check down this hill a little bit. Which I didn't do. For rocks. I think that big one there, that's fine. Depends how far out we're going to be coming. Once we fell a few trees, it might make it a little bit clearer. Alright, so there's our first pile. We are front heavy. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are very front heavy. Ay, yeah, yeah, this could be very. Oh, 
Hmm. I think we might need a stronger... Yeah. Wow. Okay, let's see what it's... Uh, working weight is actually going to be. Obviously, 100% is not it. Okay, can handle that. I'm thinking maybe half a load. Oh. Yeah, so about half a load is probably our working weight. Uh, I'm just wondering whether it's worth sending back this skid steer and getting a stronger one. Getting maybe the uh, tracks. Yeah, that's going to kind of be no good. Anyway, we'll just set up a pile like here. Oh, we'll set it up over here out of the way. Uh, it'll just take a couple of trips, I think. It's no big deal. We could spend the extra money and get the, uh, the, tr the proper one. Yeah, she's right on the edge. 600's right on the edge. Okay, so we just, well, we just go with half loads, I think. Right, so I'm bringing you guys back because I'm actually going to go and we're going to trade this one back in. And get up, we're going to upgrade it. It's just, uh, it's, what it is, it's only the rear, it's only the rear wheels that drive. So as soon as it gets front heavy and it loads up and it goes forward, I lose all traction. I'm unable to do anything. Now, it is what it is. We're just going to have to cop it. Uh, I didn't know that, but it's another life lesson learned. Okay, that's not a bad thing. Uh, so I'm going to head down to the shop now and trade this one in. Okay, put our beacons on. I'll get some lights on as well. And uh, I'll see you guys back with our new tractor. And I'm not going to bore you with the drive today because we did enough driving yesterday. But uh, I I'm going to... Um, uh, I'll see when we get back and I'll show you what we've bought, okay? Whether it's whether it's the upgraded version of uh, of the New Holland or whether it's the Kubota itself. Uh, Kubota towing a Kubota might be the actual way to go. Alright, I thought I would bring you guys back down here to show you this. Okay, I had a pipe dream and it had a New Holland uh, 318 in it, but that pipe dream has is, is quickly been abolished. All right, let's repair it for five. Let's repaint it for seven. Five. Wow, the repainting already straight away. Okay, and let's sell it. Uh, yes, I really want to sell it. Okay, gives us plenty of money back. Okay. All right, let's go over to the, to the dealer here. Hello, dealer man. Can I please have a new <laughs> Bobcat? Uh, we just had a second-hand one come in. Uh, yeah, not that one, thanks. i tell you what I want is, what I really, really want is a, uh, is a front loader. Okay, so this, I wonder if this would be able to handle it. You'd think that would be better suited, but this is what, 68 horsepower, that is 82, that is 74, that is 96, Oh. Oh, I really want this. It's expensive. But it's going to last us forever. And look at the back end. Look at the weight you've got over the back end as well. Ah, uh, bugger. There's not one in the sales, is there? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Uh, the big TT. 
Disc carriers are used for shallow cultivations of fields, but we don't need that. That would be nice. Uh, oh, go back in. Well, we've only got four options, so make a, pick an option and go with it, Ham. Uh, look, ideally, this is the one we should be buying. Okay, well, we're going to have to do it, because I don't want to... As much as I want that, I'd prefer to get it second hand if we do. If we get it second hand, we can trade this one in. We'll see how this goes. I think it should be fine. It should be better than that one. I'd love to see the weight over the back end. Combinations. Ah, it can use that combination. Right. What were your combinations? Yeah, that bucket too, but I wouldn't recommend that bucket with that uh, bobcat ever. Okay, is there any options we can give it? No, that's it. That's all you can buy. Are there any options you can do with this one? No. I, yeah, I keep clicking in here because I really want it. And it would go with our Kubota tractor really well. We're trying to save money, Ham. Alright, party pooper. Alright. And I hope this thing's going to be better. It's already got, looks like it's a bit chunkier in the back end, I'll be honest. And you know what else? Tracks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I think half the trouble with the other one was... Yeah, this is much bigger. Half the trouble with that other bobcat. What were you saying? Half the trouble with that other bobcat was the fact that we didn't actually have... Um traction all the time when we, when we were dipping up in the air we didn't have all the traction that we needed right pick that back up and away here we go right so I may have gone the long way around before to get up to where we need to get to it's actually quite a short drive to get up to where we need to get up to uh, it's literally just the left up here Alright, this uh, gravel job is turning into a, a longer job than what I had predicted, but that's okay. Right tool for the right job and you'll get the job done well and quick. Okay, this is where we make our turn to get up here, alright? And then it's just up this hill and over the bridge. Over the bridge and far away, hey yo, 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 yo. That's my attempt at yodeling. Don't laugh at me, you give it a go. Alright, you know what would have been better about this? Is if there was a Kubota on the back of it. But, you know, as much as we're making good money from collectibles, we still can't just throw money to the... You know, you start, can't throw money to the wind, alright? Uh, I know the saying, throw caution to the wind. We can't throw caution to the wind uh, when it comes to money still. We, we need... It's $180,000 for the actual um, iron furnace. Okay? We can't... Can't just afford to, to keep going. Oh, that didn't work. Let's spend more money. Uh, as not much as as nice as it is, options like this though, uh, and I I could have leased. I could have leased the bobcat, which probably would have been a better idea. Uh, but I didn't. I want to keep a bobcat. I want to start uh, growing the uh, tools that we have here, uh, especially if we're going to be looking at buying this uh, company, this business off our uncle, uh, and we're just up over here. Okay, we'll pull up over here. Okay, beacons can go off now. Well, okay. That, and can we unpack it while... No, we have to have it turned on. Fair enough, the hydraulics need to be on for it. Beautiful. Alright, let's see how this goes this time. We've got the stump grinder on there too. Giddy up, cowboy. Let's go. Let's see how this goes this time. I'll tell you what, it's pretty fun to drive. This this skid steers, I mean, the uh, track tractor seems way more fun to drive. Now, what I was doing is my pile over here is all over the place, right? Uh, I was having absolute calamity and trouble trying to pick all this stone up because every time I'd go and pick it up, it would tip the bucket forward and then I'd have no traction. So I was actually rolling backwards down this embankment 
and I was in panic mode. Uh, let's pick that stuff up there, thanks, and see how we go this time. Oh my gosh, that's much better, right? Right tool for the right job. I feel much safer in this already. Uh, there's a bit of loose debris over here, was there? No, okay. Right, what it means also that we can pick up most of the pile in one go. Ah, oh, the super boom. That's what I want to see written on my vehicles. Words super and boom. Uh, not if there's a kaboom. I think we can get that last little bit there too. Right. I'm going to crack on and continue on with our job here. Uh, I'll go backwards across the road. And this time I will see you at the end of uh, the gravel job. Our little pile's getting a little bit bigger. Uh, and we're definitely got a couple more piles to go. And I found another rock. I tried to spray it, you might have seen. <laughs> but the rock didn't take too kindly to spray paint. Uh, and it's just here. There's a little bit of residue rock around. I'm hoping that when we do the flattening, it might just disappear it. I don't know if it affects uh, the ground or not. There's the rock just hidden there under the bush. We might end up with a few more of those around the track, but uh, yeah, cheeky little, cheeky little bush rock. All right, there were a couple of piles over here the other day that uh, I know that we had. So there's one there. I thought there were definitely more than this. All right, we're not going to get this. Is, this is definitely a two tripper. Yep. And what we have to do. Oh, no, 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 ham. Oh. Yeah, you have to go backwards down the hills, but you can't turn around while you're going up the hill. Oh, hopeless. Now we're in amongst the trees. This has definitely been better, though, this, uh, this skid steer. In Australia, we don't call them skid steers so much. We know that they, we know that they are skid steers, uh, and that's what their actual proper name is. But we actually call them bobcats a lot. Bobcats are brand. I know that. I don't know why we call them bobcats. I think just we just do. Uh, even though we know that they're also skid, some people call them skid steers, but a lot. Well, in Queensland here, a lot of us call them bobcat. Jump in the bobcat. But we know it's a skiddy as well. A lot of people still call them skiddies. It's like, I don't speak for everyone. I just know that when I've been, uh, when I used to do a bit of landscaping before the Navy, uh, that's just what everyone said to me. Jump in the bobcat. 
And what a lot of other builders and stuff set around the sites. Okay. Uh, I'll get this last little pile, then we'll knock that rock up. Right, we're going to have to change tools here. Get out the pneumatic. It's got, I love this little tilt function on this bucket, like that. It's really good. Okay, let's put the bucket down here. Okay, let's pick up the pneumatic. It's high dramatic. It's grease lightning. Alright, calm down, Ian. Alright, I'm constantly like flicking the camera around. I know, I apologize, but it's to make sure I don't get hit by a car or a run into a car. And then I've got to pay insurance and public liability, and my business takes a hit. You mean your fake business? Yep. Don't you question? Don't question it. All right, let's hit. Uh, let's get you ready in the in the ready position for for smashing away. Tap, tapity tap. I'm already. Uh, I'm not even worried that we spend the extra money on this bobcat because I did. Well, don't say say skid steer. Yeah, I struggle to stay. <laughs> Whatever you notice, I struggle to say skid steer. Uh, that way, forward, down. Yeah, so uh, I'm actually don't care that we spent the extra money to get this one because I much prefer the ones with tracks. I think they're awesome. Not only that, if we tilt forward a little bit or we tilt backwards, we've still got the ability to drive. Whereas with that other um, skid steer, I was about to say Bobcat again, we don't have the ability for that. Uh, we've only got rear wheel drive. So if it leans forward, if, if you're overloaded and it leans forward, you're done. You have to use the bucket to push yourself back down. And that's not always good for your hydraulics, so just remember that. You can actually damage your hydraulic systems doing that. Okay. You might think I don't know what I'm talking about, but I actually have a skid steer ticket and a forklift ticket in real life. Uh, they're the only heavy machinery tickets I've got. Oh, and a scissor lift. <laughs> okay, if you ever want to go up high, I'm your man. And don't I know how to drive that scissor lift good? Okay. We can uh, time in the traffic well. Good job, Ham. I don't think... Um, I don't think there's any more piles in there. I thought there were more rocks around that side. We'll definitely see next time out anyway. What's going to be a trouble for us is this snow keeps falling and the snow's going to the snow will cover the snow will get thicker and it will be a lot harder for us to uh, do our job especially when it comes to cutting tree stumps down it might actually end up being a pause job until winter is over uh, which kind of sucks <laughs> uh, it's okay we can take on contracts and we've got plenty of other jobs we can do in the meantime uh, we can, and we've got to head back to uh, the old stream and we'll have to sell off all our bales as well. Remember, that's going to be a great influx of cash. That might go towards buying out the money we used to buy out Uncle Stu. Uh, I, I, I'm going to have to wait anyway to see what prices he comes back. I'm going to have to wait to see if it even his deal even goes through for his uh, new venture that he wants. Uh, and if it does, he just doesn't have... Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just doesn't have time to uh, deal with the forestry stuff for a while. Maybe I'll just give him a 10% cut of what I earn for the next, like, two years or something. No, we'll, we'll ham out a deal, though. Oh, I use the word ham, eh? All right, let's pick up this rock. Is that it? I think that's it, homie. All right, another good uh, job today, guys. I've been Van Ham. Thanks for joining me. 
catch me next episode where we start to cut we're going to start cutting the trees down anyway regardless if it's uh if there's a lot of snow on the ground you can see everything's really frosting up though now look at the look at the grass is getting really frosty uh, and now we've got a big pile of rocks here we're gonna have to sort out at some point down the track uh the other thing is i might be able to get a winch system or a grabber i think you can buy a grabber for the uh for the skid steer here and we can use the skid steer to grab the trees and drag them towards the container the other problem is the container that's going to fit on the actual you can just actually park there. Uh, worried about the container that can actually fit on here. I might get that tree, that stump old matey off there as well. Uh, you know what else you're going to need over here? Probably some kind of a demountable uh, little hut to work in and out of. Make your cups of teas and coffees while you're over here working. Yeah, that's a good idea. I can't wait to actually have a go at this. I'm glad we've got it. Super boom. But it's kind of like a nice little work site over here, isn't it? That we've got going on. I'm going to take that off there. Okay, that's better. Anyway, I've been Van Ham. Thanks for joining me again today. We got the rocks done. I know we were over at uh, the old stream farm, but hey, we do have two. We do have a farm to manage. Okay, we still have our own property. We've got to manage as well as this. Snow, snow, wonderful snow. Uh, stay glued to your screen. That's all I got, and I'll see you guys very soon for the next one. Bye for now. Did I miss any piles in here? Oh.